today we will learn regarding definition of anatomy and its branches or subdivisions of the anatomy definition anatomy is a science which deals with the structures of the body from microscopic to microscopic derivation from the greek word anatomy meaning cut up the term dissection is a latin equivalent of the greek term anatomy now subdivisions of the anatomy initially anatomy was studied mainly by the dissection but the scope of modern anatomy has become very wide because it is now studied by all possible techniques which can enlarge the boundaries of the anatomical knowledge the main subdivisions of the anatomy are cadaveric anatomy also termed as microscopic or gross anatomy is studied on dead embalmed bodies usually with the naked eye subdivisions of the anatomy microscopic anatomy it can be studied by regional and systemic anatomy regional anatomy head and neck brain thorax abdomen upper limb lower limb gluteal region pectoral region okay this can be done by one of the two approaches regional and systemic in regional anatomy that we have discussed studied in parts like upper limb lower limb thorax abdomen head neck brain etc in systemic like system wise the skeletal system muscular system vascular system nervous respiratory digestive urogenital and endocrine system in first diagram it shows vascular then nervous respiratory system digestive system skeletal system and last one is myology second living anatomy living anatomy is studied by inspection palpation percussion auscultation endoscopy bronchoscopy gastroscopy radiography electromyography etc uh, in ayurveda it is described as darshan sparshan prashna embryology developmental anatomy is a study of prenatal development changes in an individual the development history is called ontogeny this is new word for you developmental history is called ontogeny the evolutionary history on another hand is called phylogeny that is utkranti vada developmental anatomy is a study of fertilized egg developing into its adult form okay histology is the study of structure with the aid of microscope example histology of liver spleen etc for their specific investigation they do such microscopic study okay now surface anatomy also termed as topographic anatomy is a study of deeper parts of the body in relation to the skin surface it is helpful in clinical practice and surgical operations okay in surgical operation like append in appendicitis that uh, uh, that is surface anatomy is mcburney's point in our embalming process in uh, by uh, uh, in a, in our embalming process from femoral artery we uh, see the course of femoral artery which pass from the mid inguinal point first we locate anterior superior iliac spine and pubic tubercle uh, which is connected by mid inguinal point and femoral artery is pass from the mid inguinal point and enter the uh, femoral triangle so by this knowledge we can put incision on the skin and expose the femoral artery and then do the process of embalming radiographic and imaging anatomy is the study of bones and deeper organs by the plane and contrast radiography by ultrasound computerized topography Um, in short usg ct mri etc comparative anatomy is a study of anatomy of the other animals to explain the changes in form structure function of different parts of the human body example uh, it is a comparative study men to other human being to other animals okay physical anthropology 
deals with the external features and measurement of different races and group of people and with the study of prehistoric remains uh, example americans are uh, taller or heighted than indians okay this is example of anthropology this diagram shows the phylogeny okay nine applied anatomy deals with application of the anatomical knowledge to medical and surgical practice that we have seen in our anatomical terminology portion appendicitis hysterectomy okay experimental anatomy is the study of factors which influence and determine to the form structure and function of different parts of the body uh, example the students who do the pg in uh, speci uh, or specialization in an anatomy or su uh, surgery they uh, they have to do any one research of for body knee joint okay or related with muscles nerves etc 11 genetic deals with the study of information present in the chromosomes okay study of chromosomes the locomotors lo, the locomotor system includes osteology arthrology arthrology and myology the term splenology deals with the study of visceral organ of respiratory digestive urinary reproductive and endocrine system okay Thank you everyone.